Good evening. I'm Claire McDonald, the co-founder of TrueLink Financial, and it's great to be here. This is a picture of me and my grandmother on the farm that she operated until she was in her 80s. I spent every summer of my childhood there doing things like you see on the screen, um, collecting eggs from the chicken house. It was on this farm uh, that she had the series of strokes that led to the dementia that she lived with for the last eight years of her life. She spent those years on the farm, living independently with increasing levels of support from our family and from paid caregivers. At one point during that time, an itinerant handyman approached her and convinced her to pay him thousands of dollars, more than was reasonable, to repave the driveway. And then he left without repaving the driveway. Home repair scams like this are just one of the hundreds of kinds of scams that target seniors in the U.S. every year. The elderly in the U.S. lose billions of dollars to hidden charges, misleading and pushy marketing, and outright fraud. At first, it's tempting to think or you just assume this is a, Grandma, don't give your credit card number out to door-to-door -door salesman problem. And then once you take care of that, it becomes a, Grandma, don't answer the phone if you don't know who's calling problem. And then it might become a, Grandma, you use a walker. Why do you want the entire collection of hip hop jazzer size DVDs problem? <laughs> so you address one issue and then another issue appears. It's a game of whack-a-mole. And it's actually not an Alzheimer's problem or a dementia problem or a mild cognitive impairment problem. It's a everyone needs a safe way to spend their money problem. So that's what we make at TrueLink Financial, a safe form of payment for cognitively impaired seniors. So when grandma's out shopping with friends, at the movies, donating to her favorite charities, it works like any other Visa card or bank account. But when she gives out the number over the phone to a mystery caller, or when she uses it to enroll in a sketchy sweepstakes, it automatically blocks the charges. So a caregiver or trusted family member configures the card online to meet the needs of the specific senior and their family. So if there's been an issue with solicitations from charities, you can create a whitelist. So the card only works to donate to three trusted and well-known charities. If there's been an issue with hidden shipping and handling charges um, associated with ordering from TV, you can automatically block purchases from TV marketers. If you just know that there's probably an issue anytime an exceptionally large purchase is made, you can get a text message anytime there's a purchase for over $500. So um, in the spirit of tonight's event, we actually developed this, pro this, this product while working closely with caregivers and with seniors and getting constant feedback. Right now we're in an alpha and we're rolling out into a small beta where we'll work again closely with a small group of users to keep refining the product and making it better. We think that it's the best of both worlds in that the senior who's using it can continue living a full and vibrant life and their family and them don't have to worry um, that they could lose their life savings at any moment. So let me tell you a little bit about the team behind TrueLink. Here on the screen, you see Deborah Wolrab. She's our head of operations. She's from, uh, she was formerly the head of operations for MasterCard Latin America. That's my co-founder standing next to me, Kai Stinchcomb. He's a brilliant technologist. Chandra Chatterjee, a uh, consumer insights expert, formerly of Visa and the Scooter Store. Here in the room tonight, we have James Tensley, our, uh, our head of customer acquisition and engagement, and Gabe Novais, our, um, our, our director of operations and customer service. So I heard the bell. Oh, that was me hitting the bell. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, I have another minute. Oh, what to say next? Um, so, so tonight, so as you can see, we have a phenomenal team uh, working on this issue that we all care deeply about. And tonight we'd love to ask your help with two things. So the first um, is that as you might imagine for a company at our stage, our goal is to reach families in need. So we'd love to talk to any of you all who work at organizations that serve families and individuals who might benefit from our product and talk about how we can collaborate to reach people who could benefit from TrueLink. The other thing we'd love from all of you is your feedback. You've heard me talking for four minutes and 40 seconds about this product. I'd love to hear what your initial impressions are, questions you have, ideas. So you can reach out to us at founders at truelinkcard.com. 
contact us at Twitter or via the website, or any of the three of us would love to talk with you after the presentation tonight. Thanks so much.